Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. How are you? Merry Christmas, season's greetings, happy holidays to you. I pray you're doing well. Welcome if this is your first time returning Soul Tribers. New Soul Tribers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your continuous love, your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Please remember to tap the bell so that you won't miss any of my messages or videos when they're uploaded. Thank you so very much. Again, I'm here to remind you that God is for you. Because he's for you, who can be against you? You are blessed, you're highly favored, you're protected, and you're loved. You're loved. So let's get right into it. So, wow, Spirit, what message, what word do you have for us? Oh, if you want good, your nose must run. So if you want good in life, there are sacrifices that must be made. You have to say no to some things. Oh, this card keep coming up. Be like the wise owl. The more you see, the less you talk. So a lot of you, you're working hard because if you want good, your nose must run. So that means you have to make some sacrifice. For some of you, depending on where you're living, whether it is snowing, whatever the weather conditions are, maybe you're not even feeling well, but you, you still go out there. You're still pushing it to get it done. So you have to make sacrifice. So as you're doing this, you're being wise like the owl to pretty much keep quiet, move in silence as you're working towards your goals. For some of you, you have different things or plans in mind. And so you are working hard, diligently, whether it's a house, a car, you know, you know what it is that you're saving for. You're making these sacrifices. Could be for a vacation, your retirement, things like that. But you're working, you're being diligent, and you're wise. You're like the wise owl. The more you see, the less you talk. So it's like you're minding your business. You're minding the business that pays you. And then the last card here, it says the dummy membership is over. So you're no longer being stupid. Maybe in the past, you were foolish. You made some foolish decisions when it came to matters of the heart, your money, your time, your body. And it's like right now you learned your lesson because the all is very wise. So you learned your lesson. It's like you've been fooled, you've been tricked, bamboozled. People play with your heart, your feelings. See, the thing about it for a lot of you, a lot of us, is that you can be happy for other people. But when it comes to people celebrating you, they are not. They are not really happy for you. So for a lot of you, you come to realize that when you tell people your plans and your business, they throw a monkey wrench in it. They try to block it. They give you the evil eyes, whatever it is. But then before you know it, it's like your dreams fall apart. And so for a lot of you, yes, you've learned your lesson to zip it, keep it shut. The more you see, the less you talk. And the less you talk, the more you'll see. And you can also switch it. It's like... The more you see or the more you hear, the less you talk. And the less you talk, the more you will hear. Because you can even have people around you who are gossiping, but you're not saying anything. So they feel comfortable to keep talking around you because you are not carrying back any news, any telling anybody business. You're just there kind of smiling and nodding. So this tells me that you wise up a lot. A lot of maturing here. Uh, you're not allowing people to play with your heart, your feelings anymore. And so for some of you, again, it's making the sacrifice. Could even be for your own family, your children. 
that you're working hard for, you're keeping your head down. It's like it's not easy. It's not easy, but you know, you're you're not giving up. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. Wow. Okay, Sprit, what else do you have for us? Yeah, a lot of these, some people, it says they're caught in the web of lies. So some people could have been lying around you, telling lies, and now they're caught up. You're caught up. And now it's you against the world. It is you against the world. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know I wrote this two times. If you want good, your nose must run. So this is definitely a confirmation. So for a lot of you, a lot of us, maybe you need to do more. Maybe you're contemplating about what it is that you need to do. And you're thinking about all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. And this is confirmation that, look, if you want different, you must be able to do something different. You're going to have to change some things. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. Wow. I love that. That is definitely confirmation. Wow, look. Judas kiss. Judas kiss. So with the dummy membership, again, a lot of you, I think I just made a, a message talking about kisses of an enemy. So if you haven't seen that, maybe you need to watch that. But for some of you, with you being the dummy, the dummy membership is over. It's like you're done. You're done being fooled and tricked by people who pretend that they love you. But in fact, they really, they really don't love you. Yeah, look at the back. It says, all that glitters is not gold. So you've learned some tough lessons here. You've learned some tough lessons that if you, if you just look at the outside, you're going to keep on losing. Because again, maybe in the past, dealing with people, on the outside, it says, yes, everything looks great. But then when it comes to the matter of the heart, they were fake, they were phonies, they were not authentic at all. For a lot of, again, with the dummy membership is over, and you've been wiser now. Again, yes, you've been played. So now, it's like you're in your power. It's you against the world. You're not afraid to stand up for yourself. Maybe in the past, people lied on you as well. They told a lot of lies. And now they're caught up in those lies because they can't even explain to people why they said the things they said. They were just being hateful. And so now the, the web they weave, they are trapped in it. They're caught up. They can't, they can't come out of it. You know, and so they're exposed pretty much. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love that for you. I love it for us. But keep going. Keep pushing. If you want good, you know, have to run. There are sacrifices. This is called life that we have to make. You know, it's like things that we have to go through in life. Wow. Wow. If you want good, your nose up, your nose must run. I was going to say after run. If you want good, your nose must run. So yes, it's you coming back with this fire, this passion of being a go-getter, being driven. You are creative. So for a lot of you, you're stepping out of this comfort zone. And now you're stepping into your power. Maybe for a while you were sleeping on yourself and it's like now you are more confident you are more vibrant 
you're a go-getter now confident ambition so you are unstoppable you are driven you're you're gonna go and get it yeah with this knight of pentacles at the back of the deck slow and steady win the race slow and steady win the race patience to succeed knowing that the race is not for the swift the battle is not for the strong but it's for those who endure to the end and so yes for a lot of you because look look if you can see it's like this is a rope he's on a bike on the rope balancing his his, his coin his pentacle i mean this I mean, wow, this takes skill. Again, you're wiser. It's like now you know how to maneuver life more strategically. Have you ever heard stories, and maybe even for some of you, you've had, all of us have gone through those times when you hit those rough patches where your funds get really low. Or some people have lost everything and so when they have to build back from the ground up they are more cautious it's like you live and you learn it's like when you when life teaches you you never you never forget and so coming back is like you're more skilled you're wiser you know how to manage your money you know how even with with relationships too if we if we gain knowledge like we said with the all here you're wiser now then you're not going to entertain the same foolishness like you did in the past now you're going to maneuver more cautiously because you don't want to fall in the same pit make the same mistakes as you did in the past so yeah patience you're keeping your your eyes on the prize again your your mind in your own business is like life maybe the budget is tight whatever it is it's not easy because you want something good out of life and you realize in order to do this you know what i need to put on my creative hat i need to you know just throw off this this attitude of pretty much procrastination putting things off for another day another time and a lot of you you're stepping into that power where you're now taking over taking responsibility of your life as you venture out at least maybe some of you this is what you're thinking for the new year you need to do something different in order to accomplish the things and you know it's not going to be easy but it is possible and it is worth it the dummy membership is over yes now the wheel is in your favor this is their lucky twist of faith is like now whatever it is that is destined for you you're now walking into that this is your time this is your season karma is on your side now you're on top of the wheel for a long time for a lot of you you've been crushed you were praying when is my time god when is it that i'm going to catch a break i cannot get a moment and now you're on the top of the wheel so see this is why it is so important to celebrate others and some of you, you do. Like I said before, you can celebrate people. You can even give them suggestions. But when it comes to you, you don't get that from people at all. And now, look, this is your time. This is your season. It's like Stella getting her groove back. Stephen, you're getting your groove back, guys. Whatever your name is. You're now on top of the wheel. Doors, opportunities are opening up for you. God is opening doors for you that no man can shut. When it's your time, it is your time. It is your time. So a lot of these people with the Hierophant been here, traditional teachings, 
So people could have been lying on you about what you're doing. Even you being something like, like I'm doing as a reader. People may be gossiping like this is not traditional. Uh, probably draw attention unnecessarily to you. But people are coming to you and they're actually being blessed because they see that you're somebody who is about ethics, morals. You're not saying anything wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. You're actually leading, guiding people, helping folks. So now a lot of these people, they're caught up in their lies. For a lot of these people, these could have been people who are gossiping, who are religious folks trying to make you look bad, maybe even trying to make me look bad. But now people are realizing that you are the real deal. So now they're caught up in their lies. It's like, explain it. How do you explain these lies? When, as you call yourself a believer, a Christian, you're, you're lying. Explain it. It's like, make it make sense. Wow. Mm. Your ace of cups, emotional readiness. Spirit is saying you are ready. Whatever this thing is, whatever this calling, this purpose is, the divine is saying you're ready. And it's like you're given the holy grail. This is your moment. Trouble does not last always. It doesn't matter how long it seems again on our end one day is too much you know and sometimes this has been going on for years but don't give up do not give up do not quit it is always too soon to quit all of us have those moments maybe even once per month twice a month where it's like you just feel like throwing in the towel but you know what you get up again and you keep pushing. Why? Because if you want good, your nose must run. Because nobody's going to do it for you. So you have to go get it. God made a way. Bloom where you're planted. It may not be the best of situation. But if you want to advance into other areas, then you may have to take some classes, learn some lessons, do some certifications, whatever, so that you can move into whatever the other best option or better option for you. It's always about advancing ourselves. And in order to advance ourselves, we have to come out of our comfort zone. And this is what a lot of you, you're doing now, being getting back with this, Queen of Wands, being driven, getting into that warrior mode, that fighting spirit. This is my fight song, Get Back Your Life song. It's like you're taking back your life. You're taking control of your life. And so a lot of you, you know, with this Judas case, it's like you may have people who in the past, they were planning strategically they were talking about how they're going to defeat you, overthrow you under this dummy membership and the wheel of fortune. People were thinking how they're going to pretty much cause chaos in your life so that you don't come into this blessing, having this wheel turning in your favor. And now a lot of them, they're left to watch, to just to see what God is doing in your life. A lot of these Judases. So a lot of these people were working against you, plotting, strategizing of how they could deceive you. Wow. I love this for you. Wow, king of wands, queen of wands. So it's either you're mastering your masculine and your feminine energy. Or this could be a partnership, a relationship. 
dependably goal oriented. So a lot of you, again, you're, you're mastering or you've mastered your masculine and your feminine side where you can go get it, hustle, be the superman, superwoman of your life where you're not afraid to take risk, go out and slay. And then you know when it's night, when it when it's called for it, you know how to, to turn it up. You know how to step out, to get into your feminine energy. So you balance both very well. You wear both hats very well. I love this for you. But just know that, again, if you want good, your nose must run. Here we have boundaries. No, drawing the line. So for a lot of you, if you want good, your nose must run. In order for you to be in this energy where you are taking back control over your life, again, you learn from the past. You must have boundaries. So this is like a wall here. You realize no is a complete sentence. You draw the line and you're saying, you know what? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You're either saying I put up with too much. I always try to please people and it, it, it doesn't serve me. Everybody get out except me. And you're saying enough is enough and you're putting your foot down and you're taking your life back. Good for you, good for you. Yeah, foundation. Be wise like, a, be wise like the owl. So now you're establishing your foundation, your family, your security. Again, balancing out here with the Knight of Coins. Slow and steady win the race. This is a stable offer. This is you not afraid to build from the ground up. This is you not being afraid to get it out the mud, to hustle daily, to do what you need to do. Work overtime if you must. Why? Because you're, you're trying to build your foundation. For a lot of you, you're starting over. For some of you, it's like you're waking up and you're like, you know what? Things are not getting better around here. I may as well get up and do something. Because guess what? If you stay on that sofa for one year, two years, time is still going to pass you by. So you may, might as well get up and make it count. You're looking at your children and you want to change the trajectory. Leave a legacy for your generation. You're looking at your grandchildren and you want to break this, this curse of poverty, of this small mindset, living in certain situations or certain communities. You want to break that and now it's like you're willing to step out. If not for you, you're willing to do this for your family and for security, for a rainy day, for when the time comes when you can't work anymore. It's a good man who leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So for a lot of you, you're looking at your security, your stability, and again, if you go to the supermarket, you know what I'm talking about. So a lot of you, you're realizing that a thousand dollars 10 years ago, maybe it was a big deal. Today, it's nothing. And so you have no choice but to get back out there. Some of you, you're probably getting back out of retirement to go back out there because the foundation is not as strong as you thought it would have been. It's like you're wiser now. You're wiser now. You're, you're on a budget and you're more strategic with your money. Hard fog. Hard fog with this dummy membership is over. Mixed signal blocks emotion messed up. So yeah, a lot of people 
they they used you they were giving you mixed signals one moment they love you they love you not so it it you got caught up it messed you up and this is why you had to start over and for a lot of you you prayed maybe you wanted a relationship we saw the king and queen of of pentacles or coins you prayed for a partner your match somebody who is just as passionate as you driven determined a warrior a go-getter somebody who is not afraid to get it out the mud and now the wheel is turning in your favor because you're tired of people who just wanted to play you you're tired of that and now your is like your prayer is answered your prayer is answered so for some of you you're healing at this time you're healing as you're releasing you're cleansing because a lot of hurtful things were said a lot of lies were said about you and now you have to cleanse forgive yourself forgive others pull back your energy to go inward because you dealt with a lot of injustice people who just wanted you to look bad and i mean is is almost with the hierophant is like they were convincing they were convincing a lot of people believe the lies that they were spreading against you now your heart is open wow i love this your heart is open you're receptive you're an empath and you're vulnerable again with the ace of cups this is a new beginning in love you're ready for whatever it is that you're going to venture out into if this is love your heart is open is like you did the work you went inward for some of you your leaders your your healers your light workers your motivators you encourage people you pour into others as the hierophant there you teach others you guide them in order to heal others is like you must you must heal yourself first and here your heart is open this is why you're ready if this is something that you're considering you know when it's your time you're ready your heart is receptive is like you're open to love now you're vulnerable yes you've gone through a lot of things but you learn from them being with the wise all you're wiser now wow family so a lot of the people who could have worked against you yeah right behind it is conflict so a lot of these people who probably worked against you they were your family as well who were trying to have clashes this is like that you know five of of sword you just couldn't agree you were incompatible and for a lot of you with all of this conflict and drama the judas is in your life they were your family isn't it always the people who are the closest to us but here also for a lot of you is like divine god is giving you a fresh start to have your own family and now like you're going back out you're saying you know what I need to work I need to invest so that I can have this security so some of you you're if you're pregnant congratulations maybe this is in the future maybe you're already fertile you're a parent but this is what you long for look at the back here it says long in long in you were craving aching wanting this because you've been played so much is like you 
again, we saw that King and Queen of Wands. And I said before that you've probably been praying for your family, your soul tribe, somebody you could relate to on the same level. After much conflict and longing, a lot of you, you prayed for this, you manifested this, this family, after you've dealt with a lot of bitterness, anger, whether it's you or people who use hurtful words, we have here the page of swords, sword is words, it's communication. So a lot of hurtful words, bitterness, and you release all of that. And you know what? You went on your soul journey, hoping, expecting, be having faith and manifesting. You manifested this after a time of hardship that you escaped. I love this for you. I love this for us. Things had you silenced for a long time. And for you, you just one day at a time, one day at a time. You said someday, somewhere, like over the rainbow. Wow, you just knew that God would come through for you. And it's like, this is your time. This, you're ready for whatever it is. You're ready. You're ready. I love it. Until next time, be blessed.